welcome to the Man's View Podcast. Sam, uh, goddamn, boy. You got me messed up, because you, that ain't, that ain't it. <laughs> I have my sophisticated voice on today. I'll start the podcast off a little more sophisticated than normal. You're supposed to say the MVP of the ghetto shit. I say... Hello, the MVP the ghetto shit. There we go. There we go. Ah. Welcome. We're here today to bring to you a podcast of astronomical proportions that will be fit into the size of about right there. We have been saying for a couple weeks that we're going to have a shorter podcast, and today we deliver on that promise. (laughs) Yeah. One, because I'm feeling like shit, and then um, Book, he got a flight tomorrow. We're going to make sure that nigga catch that shit. Cause we need my boy book back in the States. You know what I'm talking about? I bought a camera so we can do a podcast all together. Hopefully I get the other fellas to come over. Um, if not, then so be it. But at least book will be over. I know that yeah, we'll, I'll be have, we'll, we'll be all I'll together. Be bought the camera. I think the camera's supposed to, let me see. Let me see how much this, when this camera's supposed to be here. Uh, the latest, the 24th. So that's, see, that's I got one. a camera. What kind of camera you got? Oh man, I ain't use it in forever. It's uh Canon. Nice one. Bro. Nice. Yeah. Well, we uh, bring it. We got two angles. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. That worked, bro. That that together, worked. Yeah? I got SD cards and everything, man. I bought it because uh I had watched this movie, me and uh wifey we went to uh to uh Cozumel. And uh there was this movie uh bird watching with Jack Black and uh, the the crooked nose, Owen. Um, oh yeah, I know you're talking about. Um, and somebody else, Luke. Luke. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And somebody else was in it, but they was just walking around taking pictures of different type of birds, and mm-hmm. whoever had the most at the end won like some type of esteemed prize. So like, I'm gonna get, I'm about to get on my bird watching shit. We going to a whole nother country. I'm gonna see all mm-hmm. type of shit, flamingos and all kind, you know, all type mm-hmm. of wild shit. Man, I saw about four different birds, nigga, and then everything, they was all the same. I said, God, <laughs> the was crispy, though. The pictures was crispy. The audio was phenomenal. So I ain't mad at it, man. I ain't mad at it. But, yeah, I had a good time. Suki was like, are you serious? <laughs> but gradually she joined it. Oh, look, you got that one? Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah. Look, now you hype. Yeah. Tried to hate. You know what I'm saying? Hey, come on board. Now you want to participate. <laughs> hate is participating. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's all good. Yeah. You heard, man. But thank you guys for tuning in another week with us. You see, it's my me and my boy Book here today. Um, Mm. A lot of other fellas under the weather. I don't know what it is. The cedar going around got everybody tore up in the state. So, Book, if you got allergy medicine, you need to take that shit now before you get on that goddamn plane. That's terrible. I just got a got my cough drops. You know, I usually get a sore throat for some reason, like being that high up. Like plus. Airplanes be too fucking cold. Like, God damn, bro. Like, but I'm ready, though. I already mm-hmm. got my clothes, you know, my little airplane clothes set off to the side. Uh, nigga, I'm ready to go, bro. Backpack pack, my carry on pack. I don't, I don't travel with check luggage when she ain't here <laughs> because all the check luggage is hers. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got nothing. I'm in and I'm out. Wait. Light work. I know every, all the fellas ready for you to come back. You know what I'm talking about? I think T got a game on Tuesday, a home game. So we can I'm check down. that out. Um, you know what I'm saying? Got a couple things going on. Um, you, when you get in, Saturday or Friday? Friday. Friday. Um, they got a, I, I know they got a gun show on, on Saturday. I'm going to go to that. Oh, you know, if you want to come, you can come. They also have a little vegan expo thing on Saturday, oh, too. Hey, let's run. Let's go. Yeah, everything, baby. I got I got a lot of stuff that I gotta get to um and get done and check out. And you know, I'm gonna have uh I'm gonna have a great vacation. That's that's all I know. So we go. Uh, usually I kind of just chill, you know. So I I'm gonna be chilling again, but like I'm really just gonna uh fall into my own zone with it, you know what I'm saying? Like I won't go here, I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not about to play these games no more, man. Like grown ass man, dog. There we go. So, we're gonna have some fun, man. There we go. That's legit, legal, you know, authorized, nothing shady. But ain't nobody think you was gonna rob a bank or nothing. You know what I'm saying? All we right, all right. good. You know what I'm I could do that and then disappear. <laughs> they be like, "God, nothing, nigga, don't flood it. I'm out of the country." Yes. 
Okay, look at this nigga that popped up in here. What's happening what with up, you, Coco Valley? What's up, fella? What's up, money? Chilling, man. Oh, this is going to be super quick today, Cody. Yeah. We already put that one out in the atmosphere, brother. We already put it in the atmosphere. Uh, this this one going to be – yeah, we've been meaning to get one that's quick. Today's it, brother. <laughs> Let's roll with it. Man, hey. what's been up with you, man? You good today? I see you, you representing for your, your Fort Valley, man. What's happening? Mm -hmm. It's always that, man. Always that. Now, um, man, I just got hit with uh, like four more projects for work, man. So it look, it's looking like it might Damn. be a little, a, little, a little rough this first quarter, man. So I'm trying to get it in when I can, man. If I ain't got to work, you know what I'm talking about? I'm trying, to, trying to be here, do what I can. You know what I'm talking about? You good? Yeah, appreciate it. Man. Good, man. We appreciate you for the time, man. We understand when you got stuff to do, you got stuff to do, man. Put that disclaimer out there. So we don't know for how long. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right they know how long. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazing. Hey, man. man been here three straight weeks, y'all. What more do you want from him? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I'm glad y'all moved down, moved this one to Wednesday, because if it was if it was tomorrow, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So I was like, okay. okay. And I hop on real swift, like, because, you know, Thursdays be conflicted with other stuff that I got going on. Mm. But, um, yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday was – this was good. Um, yeah, man, I, I like the way uh, Franz is letting us know exactly when they're coming, too, so I can kind of check the schedule and everything like that. So, yeah, as long as we can keep doing that, man, hopefully I can get home. My goal this year is at least two a month, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least to show face, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But. We'll see if I can keep up with it, man. Y'all been going strong, man. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I see the other two bailed on us today. You know, I can talk greasy now that I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about your reasoning. We don't care uh, about your reasoning. <laughs> uh, hey, you boy. sick? Man, forget that. You could have been out. <laughs> you not like that. You Nah, the boy, the boy G go, man. That, that nigga hurt. He, I can tell he was hurt last night when we was on the game. He yeah. wasn't feeling good. Yo, Greg, you ain't never heard of Greg with no attitude. Greg had an attitude last night, boy. Oh, he, wasn't, he wasn't having it, huh? He wasn't having no bullshit. If you said, hey, what's up, Greg? He was like, what, nigga? What you want? I'm like, hold up, Greg. It ain't that. Peace, my brother. Peace. <laughs> I don't want to know what's happening with you, my brother. I want to update you. Like I, said, yeah. I, I want to entertain. I was like, nigga, you got all this. What you, oh, you got a problem. Nigga, I'll be there Friday. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Nigga, I hope you sick when I land. So you had that same damn energy. <laughs> talking about, oh, look, I miss you now. What's up, no, no, no. No, no. Give me 2K vibes, nigga. 2K vibes. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, we were supposed to fight, too, weren't we? It wouldn't have been no fight, man. I'd have got locked up, bro. Never made it back out of country. <laughs> I mean, they do lock you up for laying out in the middle of the street, so it could have happened like that. You know what I'm saying? You would have got knocked oh, out. Like uh, no, <laughs> sir. No, sir. I was I hurt. Too. I was. I was extremely hurt. We we know how I was, bro. Like that. That would have been fighting like a handicapped person. You know, <laughs> let's say hard. It's gonna like, be like that anyway, I though. Have it all. I ain't have it all. <laughs> I ain't have it all. Like my arm is literally just still effed up, so I still couldn't even throw a punch. Man, you been getting it in? You been getting it in in the gym? No. You know what's crazy is, uh, man, I swear I love my doctor, man. This dude is funny as shit, man. Um, he's Egyptian. Love black people. Um, you know, obviously the ancestry is there. So I hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, my arm is – really bothered me and I'm like I'm about to go uh he was like he uh he wasn't at the office um think he had a dental appointment but said he wouldn't be back till Saturday and he said he can get me straight on Saturday I was like bro I leave Thursday I'm like that ain't gonna work he's like pretty much he had one of his little cronies nah bro I follow you I trust you I don't know them to do anything for me all right our track record is immaculate okay I could wait and I could hold out I was like but my arm is like seriously bothering me more than it did when I came and saw you and I did the MRI and everything. He's like, yeah, don't do nothing. I was like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not lifting. I'm not pulling. I'm not doing nothing, man. He was just at the gym. But that was cardio. I, I wasn't doing nothing. No, you was, I you mean, was you, oh, yeah. <laughs> man, you weren't with me shooting in the gym. Huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> I would plug that motherfucker I, in here. I, I was gonna plug it in here, but you got that shit upside down. Like Yeah, nigga, stranger things. Upside down world, bro. That's how it be sometimes. 
Shit, I'll plug it in there. Fuck it. Put it yeah, in there. Yeah, man. It'd be all right. Just flip your camera. Flip your laptop upside down. You'd be all right. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you was dropping them, though. You was dropping them. Hey, I love okay. Bro, I don't. I haven't shot in, like, I kid y'all. People think I'd be dumb, man. That was my first time touching a basketball in, like, two years, man. Like, I just, I, I, I really be trying not to play because I know my passion and my drive for it lead to uh further injury so uh that's strong of you to have not touched the ball in two years but you had the nerve to call the people that was running trash <laughs> you might have been Boy, nigga, to pit. bro i would have stepped on the court looking like mj fade away perfect man like it in your mind, mind, in your mind no, them dudes <laughs> trash i know when to go though if i want some some easy access quick run <laughs> you know inflate that mind a little bit I'm gonna yeah. play with the fire department. That's where they were. Them niggas was from the fire department. Them niggas trash, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> they they save lives. That's what they good at, I guess. Cause basketball, no sir, <laughs> no sir. But um, <laughs> my doctor was like, um, yeah, don't do nothing, blah blah blah. And he was like, not even play with yourself, cause he was like, you know, I know as an African American man, uh. you know, <laughs> and it take a little bit more work. <laughs> so he was like. <laughs> The rigorous use of the arm, kid. I said, nigga, they do stupid. That, that's your arm, too, huh? That's the arm. That's, that's the one. Good. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 I was like, man, you know what? I never thought of that. And he was like, yeah, brother. I was like, man, I love you, dog. You funny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He don't, he don't want a nigga to jack off when he see one. You know what I'm saying? I tried uh, to switch to him. Like, we talked about how it's important. I tried that today. I said, Nah, bro, I guess I'm about well, to be. You know what the issue is? He watched the man, podcast, dude. bro. He, he a subscriber, man. He done, <laughs> he done, he, yeah, you know. He, he, you know. <laughs> he said, boy, I'm going to get him next visit, boy. I'm going to get him. Man. I, know, I know he been using I know he been using Hey, man. Too much, brother. Space mm -hmm. out. Yeah, dog. You know, I like to go back to back with mine. But, yeah, he said, nah, man, don't even do that. I said, yeah. like, shake weight. I'm like, all right, brother, no problem. So we're good, man. We're good. Uh, I'm, uh, taking it uh, easy, man. Taking it easy. Well, anyway, my fellas, my brothers, yeah. let's get this thing started, man. Let's get this knocked out. Yes, yes. Because, like I said, it's not gonna be long today. We're gonna get in, get out. We're gonna let Jasmine get a room back because you know what I'm saying. They can be trying to take up the room and don't want to let Jasmine go to sleep in a bed. Yeah, hey, we're not mentioning that name tonight, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we in, we in, we in a we in a beef right now, boy. So, you, so ain't no booty you happening right now. <laughs> she wish. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> anyway, yo, we have an inspirational person of the week. Um, shout out to Cassandra St Shields, uh, boxing legend. I'm gonna call her a legend because she won. She's the fastest one to win like three championship belts in the women's division. And she's super dope. I would post a video um, of her walking out. She posted, she she walked out to Who Run the World, and it was dope how she had it. But yeah. they flagged it on YouTube, I mean, on Facebook and um, on Instagram. So I know they're going to flag this shit on YouTube. So I can't put the shit in there. But shout out to Miss Cassandra Shields, you know what I'm talking about, for doing that work. Nice work. Get them, girl. Yeah. I'm going to throw her out there because I, I love a woman. Get out there and get get the boxing. I still love Layla Ali, boy. I don't know something about Layla Ali, boy. Just to know, hey, if you step out of line a little bit too much, she might whoop your ass. Like you gotta you gotta hold that line, with her. You know what I'm saying? Like her daddy is the greatest of all time. Like yo, you you can't say too much to her. You be like, oh, bitch, yo, bitch, sit your ass. Down. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I'm I'm, I'm apologizing for what I'm saying, but <laughs> hey, you knew you was wrong. That's that's how you gotta talk to her. <laughs> No, you you hit it. With, you knew you was wrong, don't you? Yeah. Were you? You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, right, let me let me know so we hey. know. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I might yeah. be tripping today. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. Let me know. Hey, it is what it is. You know what? I'm gonna call the fellas and see who was wrong, who was right. And then I'm yeah. gonna get back to you with that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. I don't know something about that. Shout out to her. shout out to her. Um, this is for the BS of the week. Yes. I got one story for the BS of the week. If y'all, that be me? Day, why is they? Give me one second. Can y'all hear that? 
yeah, yeah. Yeah. People keep on using the Google thing. No, I'm podcast. No, I'm podding right now. You know what I'm saying? Can't you can't you be specific on the room that you announce in? Man, they just do the whole thing. They just broadcast to everybody. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, BS of the week. Oh, did she have... say dinner ready? Din- dinner was ready? Is that what she said? Nah, she said asking if who else gonna eat or whatever. No, it ain't it ain't uh, important, nigga. We we pie. Right I'm now. hungry, bro. I just yeah, like, look at him. Yeah, if you wasn't acting crazy to your woman, she would have cooked you a little so she would have heated you up a hot pocket. She ended up cooking now. Eating groceries. <laughs> <She> ended, <like, laughs> eating groceries at least. <laughs> you think she ain't where she is? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Yo, this person has been um on the bullshit of the week before. Um, his name is Mr. Antonio Brown. Mr. Antonio Brown had a situation, an altercation that came up literally a couple of days ago. We are potting today on Wednesday. I know it's earlier than what we normally do. If any bullshit happened after this, excuse us. Today is the 15th of January. Uh, but Mr. Antonio Brown uh, got caught on Instagram. Wait, no, he didn't get caught. He put himself on Instagram, basically cussing his baby mom out, saying she come and steal his Bentley, call the police on her. The funniest shit in the world, he was like, he threw them, he said, here, bitch, here go a bag of dicks. And he threw a pack of gummy dicks. He had a pack of gummy penises and threw it at her. First off, I know it, it was it was nice how he said, yeah, hey, bitch, get a bag of dicks. It was hilarious at first, but then in my mind, it's like, how you just got gummy penises at the house? Like, what kind of nigga is you? That's a little question. No, no, no. They, they, they were bought on purpose for that said reason. <laughs> They've been sitting there. They've been he sitting probably, there for weeks. He's been yeah. waiting, waiting, on, waiting on to act up again. He's all right. He went and put, out, put an Amazon order in. So yeah. Last time she acted up, <laughs> she, he put an Amazon order in. So he's been sitting on them. He's been yeah. waiting for this moment because he got the camera and everything there too. Oh, yeah. He set this up. He did he looks, that. He looked stupid as hell, cussing out the police, cussing out her. He had just donated all this money to the police union. They gave him his money back. Because they said, when we arrest your ass, we going to get you. Because he cussed out the police. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, I, I, the nigga that lost his mind. I'm going to just put it out there. Something wrong with Antonio Brown. And I want Antonio Brown to get the help he needs. Yes. There's something wrong with him. Yes. And that's why he made the bullshit of the week this week. Mm-hmm. That was the most flagrant offender that I saw this week. And y'all seen anybody else, y'all welcome to add in. <laughs> And not more flagrant than that. That's funny though. Disrespectful, but funny as hell, bro. <laughs> Some gummy bag dicks. Stupid. Same time. Stupid at the time. Buddy, yeah, boys, man. Up, bro. Yeah, I thought saying. 2020 was gonna be a little bit different, man. People have a different nah, mind. Man. At least, at least this early in the year, though, because you're trying to get you're trying to get everything in line. You know what I'm saying? Like January is probably like your best month. If it's your best month, well, it's gonna be a hell of a year for his ass. It's gonna be a hell of a year. I want to say. Also, I'm going to just throw this out. Just because you said that you thought 2020 was going to be a better year. In Central Texas, that's where we that's where we filmed this out of. That's where the home base is. Uh, niggas is wilding out here in Central Texas, man. I don't know what it is. Every time, every day I look on the news, somebody else that got shot, got killed. It's like, is it that serious? Like, come on, y'all. This is 2020. This is a new beginning. Let's not start the year out like this with this stupid shit. Like, if y'all listen to this, man, chill out. Come on, dog. You know, it make no sense for this stupid stuff happening every day. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get it in order. I think that's some bullshit. Central Texas, y'all got to stop <clears throat> and shooting motherfuckers every day. This, this, it makes no sense to me. But it yep. is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I know I people are going to do what they're going to do, but I need y'all to stop that shit. That's just this crazy. When you behind bars... It's, 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 it's not going to be the same. You're not going to have That's that same. Time. Yeah. That's not the time to try to change. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't exactly. the time. It means your actions already got you here. Should have thought about changing before you got there. Yeah. But, you know, to each his own, man. To each his own. Yep. Ah, man. Uh-huh. Well, book, go and give him that light work. You know what I'm talking about? Light work, Let's go and light, give him to these topics, work. man. Light work. Something electric. You know what I'm talking about? Light. Oh, I'm so fire with it. I'm so fire with it. Too witty. Too witty. Book, do like uh, this. Do like this, book. There you go. I'm going to put some fire in your hands. You know what I'm talking about? There you go. I'm going to put some fire in your hands when I edit this shit. Don't right, tell me. Have me looking right up in the motherfucker, boy. 
There you go. I throw something in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all can tell it's gonna be a quick one. <laughs> hey, hey, Franz, I tell you what to throw in there. Throw a throw a bag of dicks right there. <laughs> Yo, son, on my boy. Hey, man, don't you disrespect me. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a Charlemagne booty in there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yeah, oh, booty bowl in there. Well, that's funny. Uh, let me give y'all this topic. Um, we had a, one of my brothers said he wanted to do something. So, you know, um, let's see. The question is, what is your behavior after you were told no to having sex? Are you throwing a tantrum or is your response the same now as it was when you were in your 20s? I start this one off. Definitely not hey. the same. It's definitely not the same. When I was in the 20s, I was throwing a little tantrum. I'm not going to lie to you. I was pissed the fuck off. And one reason that I got a problem with it, and women tell me if I'm wrong, which I know I am, I was wrong in my 20s. I'm like, I look pretty good. Matter of fact, fuck it. I- I'm-, I'm fine in the motherfucker. I know hey, I can find a bitch. Huh? Check it out, your bitch. <laughs> he said you know I'm fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I won't put my attributes back up there. I won't put all of them up there. They saw them last. Hey, yeah. it is what it is. But it should, go back to the episode when I started out by myself. I had all my attributes up there. I, great, great guy. Um, <laughs> I know if I wanted to, I could go get it tonight if I felt like it. That's just how I feel. I got that confidence like that. Now, hey, right. she might be a slutty character. But hey, I know I could go get it. And I'm like, I want to give it to you. So in my mind, I'm like, you funky bitch. What is your problem? You know what I'm saying? So that's in my mind, I was petty like that. I was like, I was mad and I didn't understand how women are. They get tired. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they don't want to do nothing. It has nothing now, no bearing on you, your your performance or anything like that. But I took it as now nah, you playing with me, like yo, what I'm trash or something. Like yo, tell me what it is. Mm. So I took all that. It was like a hit to the ego. Nowadays, if she tell me, nah, it ain't good. It ain't good. I, I'm good today. I'm tired. Whatever. Cool. That's fine. Straight. We good. You know what I do? I, I I got a video game system and I get on 2K with the fellas. I get on Call of Duty with the fellas. So I just get on by myself. Hey, something gonna get played. Either I'm gonna play with you or I'm gonna play on the game. That, and that's how that's how I take it nowadays. I don't take it personal. Some days, some days people just tired. You know what I'm talking about? But that's just how I feel. I was petty as hell when I was younger though, for sure. Mm. What you got, Cody? That's probably what you beefing at night right now. You know what I'm talking about? No nah, that's, uh, that's secondary, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, the primary issue. But, um, no, nah, back in, you know, back in uh, when I was 20, in my 20s, I never really had too, well, I guess 20 to maybe 26, maybe 27, I had rare turndowns. Like, it was, it was always there, always there. So, at, you know, around 27 up to now, I grouped the 27 up to the, you know, the 30s. Yeah, it's been the, it's been deniability all across the board. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, and then, I mean, comfortable too, though. It, it like, like, look you straight now, be like, nah. And won't even give a reason, though. Eh. And roll over type stuff. So now I'm at a point where I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm I'm used to it. You know what I'm saying? I say used to it on purpose because I say that all the time. I used to it. Like, it, it happens all the time. But, um, like, the earlier days, like I said, it, it didn't really happen that often. And when it did, it was um, the next day I'd be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew, okay, tomorrow is going to be made up for da 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 But now – no, tomorrow might not be spoken upon or anything like that. So the difference is I didn't have to worry about it back then, but now it might still be few and far between, man. Mm. So, and, and and whether I, I don't know, I don't necessarily, well, I will say I have a, a an attitude. 
I will say I have an attitude. Uh, it could be day three or it can be day whatever it is today, and I can be upset about something. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this and then coupled with this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just adds fuel to the fire, which isn't good. It's not healthy, but mm. it happens, man. It happens. It's all a part of the ups and downs of being in a relationship, being married, or what have you. But yeah, man, I'm at a point. I'm, 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 I'm put, I got a fit right now. Like I ain't, when I when I get off here, I'm probably gonna say maybe four words before I get my food. <laughs> probably gonna be the only four words I say between now and, and five a.m. That's gonna be it. How you planning your four words, man? <laughs> Bit. No, I can't use that. <laughs> um, uh, please excuse me, because that's when I'm walking around, mm. so we don't touch each other. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even, don't even want that. Mm. Keep that energy over there. Got my energy. That's about it. I also want to make it known when I said "funky bitch," all that shit playing in my head. I don't say that out loud, but I'm mad. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, we know. Oh, I just want to make sure we know that all that is like, I'm like, you're funky, but that's in my head. I don't say that out loud. I mean, like, oh, come we, on, know it, we know it don't come out loud. I'm married to a black woman. I don't know how y'all do y'all's, but I can't just be calling people bitches. I mean, you can't let them fly. But in my head, all kind of bitches be flying. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, and, and, and all that. <laughs> in our head, that's all we say. <laughs> that's all that's going on in our head. You know what I'm talking about? That's, yeah. <laughs> they ain't coming out. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, what you got, book? Uh, uh, yo, I was uh Mr. Foundation in my twenties. So any chick that I came across, like, yeah, she got that pipe work. That's why I say foundation because in the foundation <laughs> below that, you got the pipe work. That make everything work in the house, all right? So if you start off right, everything is upward from there. But I never, I've never tried to, I'm, I'm batting a thousand. I've never, any woman that I've wanted, and I, I'm it's not an ego trip, it ain't nothing like that. Um, any woman that I've actually wanted to do something with, that I've wanted to do something with, I've done it with. Um, now, I got my fantasy list. You know, that's that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real life. I see you. I've hollered at you. I've accomplished. Okay. Um, and for the women in my past who might listen to this, don't think of yourself as a statistic. I just told you. I actually wanted you. So I didn't feel no pressure. So you should take that for what it is as well. Okay. <laughs> Let you know your boy book was feeling you at that time. Okay, so that that's that's nice to know. You know what I'm saying? Some people just do it as a get back. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Look at this hoe. Yeah, I could pipe that. Get this shit off. You know? What I'm no, I actually wanted you. So think of it like that. Um, it don't matter now though. Uh, but back then, it's accolade. I wouldn't have told you shit. But um, you know, as I've grown, so I've never actually been like upset. Um, during that time frame mm -hmm. with the turn down. Now, if I was in a relationship that was just flagrant violation and I wasn't getting it the way that I needed. I wasn't about shit. Let it be known. And if there was somebody that I wanted, I wouldn't got a bone. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, or gave her a bone, better yet. But, um, yeah. So, either way, I was still cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't, I wasn't going to sit there and pout about it. You know what I'm saying? That don't make it right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I chose a different avenue to get off, but um, you know, I'm back then I won about shit. Now, you know, got to my late twenties. Uh, you know, uh, for those of those that know, you know, me and my wife, we met each other a long time ago. So this is, you know, the second go round. You know what I'm saying? We on and we break, then we're on and married now. You know what I'm saying? So, um. I've been 100% A1 with this woman. I might not have been shit back then. I'm not saying I wasn't. I'm not saying I wasn't. But I might not have been everything that I needed to be, you know, as far as uh, faithfulness was concerned. But that's here, man. That's, 
they don't even matter to us. You know what I'm saying? If it matter to you, fuck off. It don't matter to us. So, um, now when I don't get it, fuck yeah, I'm throwing tantrums at first. But now there's been so many changes, changes of uh, you know, in dynamics, and you know, uh, uh, a long and tenured relationship that sex is important, but it is not. It's not the most important thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I think uh, I've had some training on that firsthand. You know what I'm saying? As far as okay, well, shit, if it don't happen, like you don't have to act like that. No, I used to be like, yo, man, come on now, this this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Why well, can't you know what I mean? It's been a week. You know what I'm saying? It's been a couple of days. I want what I want when I want what I want when I need it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I kind of, you know, at the same time, you got to understand a woman's body. You know what I'm saying? A man is lively. You know, we're ready to do whatever, whenever. You know what I'm saying? At the drop of the dime. She can come in here right now. She's not here, but she could come in here, babe. She wouldn't say it out loud, but she can come and be like, you know, look around the corner. It, it, yo, no. it don't even. Bruh, y'all both see it at the same time, yeah. okay? <laughs> y'all both gang. Y'all gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With a woman, it takes time. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are tired. You know, the, the, the mechanisms of their body is a little bit different than ours, obviously. So, you know, um, and for them, it's not a just uh, – it's a deeper connection. And, I mean, for the man, it is, too. Like, we're not just looking at you like a piece of ass or anything like that. Like, we desire our wives in a certain manner. Um, but, uh, yeah, at the early stages, you know what I'm saying, of our marriage, like, yo, man, this is bullshit. I felt like that. But now, like I said, I've kind of been, uh, <laughs> neutered to control those urges. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just like, yo, when it go down, it go down. And that's that. Um, front said two things is getting played with. <laughs> For me, it's three. Okay. It's either I'm playing with you, I'm playing the game. Oh, I'm playing with myself. It's one of the other. Those, them, them the three options right there. So, hey, guess what? If my Xbox don't come on and I'm in that room, you know what it is. Stroke nuggets. I'm not playing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's, that's just what that is, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's definitely different. It, it's definitely different. You know, um, it's just about your age group, man. You know, when you're in your prime, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Men want to do a whole lot of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, niggas is uber athletic in their 20s. You know what I'm saying? Like, the stamina is outrageous. Um, But I was telling Chris the other day, and then we could rap, but I was telling Chris the other day on the game, I was like, man, you know what? I was like, I think for me, I was like, man, I always question if I had the Eric Benet. And by that, I mean, was I addicted? Am I addicted to sex? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, man, I'm always horny uh, for, you know, going sit with my wife. Um, and, I mean, I just think that speaks to the level of attractiveness that I have for my wife when I look at her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think every man should feel like that. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't, maybe that, yeah, I need to have a conversation. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I got that, and then I'm just like, yo, you know, when I get my rocks off, I'm like, yo, man, I watch a lot of porn and shit. Okay, it's crazy, but I think it's normal. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, even when we get it in, like, I be wanting to, let's go. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking like, as soon as it happened, give me 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Let that sensitivity die down. Let's keep it going. You ain't even got to get off. Just stay there. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm not going to get up off of you. I'm going to stay here. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm going to stay here, catch my breath. And then you know how we niggas do. Like, we we start trying to slowly move, see if she game with it. You know what I'm talking about? So, I do that. You're talking about when like, you still laying in it? When you still you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Get off. I'm like, Hold on. Just, just one second. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, I was going to say, you know, and she says, like, man, I just, really? So, that make you feel the way. So, like, I'm like. Damn, man. I, was like, I just thought it was good. So I just want to, you know, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get it all out. No, nah, to but, be honest, that second nut is always better than the first. And I, I will I will die on that sword. It, it takes more. 
Yes. It take more it's effort. It's always better, though. It's always better. That that it is take, the one. Me you got to be locked in. That, that is the one that'll put me down. You know what I'm saying? Like after that one, I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, now I'm good. You know what I'm saying? The first one is great, mm-hmm. but the second one is best. Mm. But I was watching 90 Day Fiance, and it was this Jamaican dude. Okay, <laughs> the Damar, um, black guy. Um, got with this lady and she was like, yeah, he just wants to have sex all the time. Like five, six times a day. Like he wanted that breakfast. He wanted that lunch. He wanted that dinner. Like he just want to have sex. And he's over there laughing, young dude. So I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not me. Maybe it's my culture and the blood that runs through my veins. Cause my father is my, my grandfather is from Kingston. All right. hundred percent which makes me 25% Jamaican. That means that little bit of blood inside of me is why my sex drive is so high. I think it's a Jamaican team, you know? So that, that's it. Don't blame me. You got to blame my roots, and you can't blame my roots. You know what I'm talking about? I, I can't do nothing about this. So I'm not from I think Jamaica. My shit high, too. You it might be. Yeah, so. But, yeah, there, there, there's levels to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, now I'm uh, – in my twenties, I was none the wiser, and now I am. So you know, is what yeah. it is. But women in the twenties as well, they was popping. So, got got a thought, man. Yeah. Uh, I wrote it down to see what y'all thought okay. about this. Uh, I, y'all y'all been hearing the interviews that Will Smith been doing, um, and Martin been doing promoting the movie. Heard a couple. Yeah. It was on the Breakfast Club, man. He said it before on the Red Table Talk, but. He talked about how him and Jada had this connection with each other that it don't matter what they do, they partners forever, they together. Okay. I was thinking, I was like, that's great to say, man, but that'd be hard, man. That's like, it's like one of the things that in my mind, I'm like, man, I wish I could aspire to that. But it's in the, in the same frame, it's like, hell no, nah, you're not just going to cheat on me and I'm going to be cool with that. Like, it's hard to... I don't. I, I, it's hard for me to understand that. And and in one instance, I'm like, nah, I can't do that. And then one instance is like, well, shouldn't you be like that before you decide to marry somebody? Like, yo, no matter what happens, I'm with you for life. But in bro, other instance is like, you can't disrespect me either. Like, I put can't. it like, bro, if Jasmine ended up cheating on me, and it's for a reason to where. I was lacking my responsibilities. Like I wasn't providing her what she needed in said department. Like whether, you know what I'm saying? She wanted to talk about work or whether she wanted to um, just chill and just be intimate without, you know, having sex. But, and if I wasn't doing that over a consistent basis and she was letting me know that I wasn't doing that. And then I find out she cheated and we have the conversation and I figure out that's the reason Damn, it's almost it's almost one of those ones to where you like, damn, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's because you know how we're men, right? We got to take ownership of whatever we've done, and that's the way I view things. I'm like, okay, even if it's something so sacred, so intimate, so close to that, I feel like I would hope I'd be man enough to be like, okay, I was slacking in that department, and you ended up slipping off and fulfilling the need that I wasn't for, for months. You know what I'm saying? You've been telling me this for months and I wasn't feeling the need for months. Um, I would hope that I'd be a person that would be somewhat understanding of it. Now it's still wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, this is an issue that we have to fix. This is something that we have to address immediately, but I would hope that I'd be a person to where I would be receptive to the feedback and to try to uh, correct the situation as far as, you know, my stance. I would hope that, but I don't know. You never know until you're in those situations, man, to be honest. But um, I would hope I would be that person. Now, will, will I? Eh, I could be a typical man, be like, oh, you cheat, man. You a whole, you all this, da 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 bam, you gone, da 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 But typical. I, would hope, I would hope that she would have, the same feelings towards me if that happened in that situation. And I think that kind of ties into, uh, you remember when uh, Joe Budden was talking about uh, Kevin Hart Mm -hmm. and he said he understood how he cheated. I disagree with that, 
I don't necessarily understand yeah. why it, he did it or anything like that. To but me, if you heard the whole thing he said, I understand I did, what I he did. was saying. I, I understood did. what he was saying. He it didn't come out right, sides. but I understood he what he was saying. See, he tried to see both sides. No, it came yeah. out right. It's just whenever you get a clip, it just doesn't it, it doesn't embody the entire idea that mm -hmm. you know he presented. You know what I'm saying? But um I do understand what he's saying, but he just didn't present it right. The way I would have presented it is I can understand somebody that's gone from home the majority of the time. I ain't gonna give a percentage or anything like that. So doesn't see the wife and has sexual urges. And so he acts on a sexual urge and that's a mistake, yes, but it's something that needs to be talked about. So at that point, I think he and the spouse need to come together and be like, hey, this, however many, whatever the period is to where we're not seeing each other, we're not getting the intimacy and even more than that, we're not having sex. And I'm a man, I need sex, da da da, da. So you, we need to at least figure out how we can fly you in to wherever I am, you know what I'm saying, for at least a weekend or a day or two just so we can have that connection because a man wants that, you know what I mean? But I feel like it was a way that he could have presented it uh, a little bit differently. But, of course, he didn't know he was going to be sliced up and thrown on the reel and all this and all that. And they discussed it the way they are. Well, the way they did, but yeah, I got you. But to the initial point, do you think you can get to the point where it don't matter what you do, that's you and your woman? I think I, I think I hit that. I, I, hopefully, yes. Hopefully, okay. yes. Um, now I would hope that I'm in a mental space to when I can actually stand back and look at the situation and then make a decision, as opposed to you see what's happened and then make a decision initially. Like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to be that person. Hopefully. Yes. I'm still working towards me being that person. Cause I don't know if I would be that person right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you book? That way you said you, nah. uh, the cheating thing. No, that anything other than, you know, I can even take emotional cheating, but anything, physical you know what i mean um i don't think i could get past that you know what i'm saying now if i found out you just been having conversations okay that hurts as well but it ain't nothing like it ain't nothing like for a man for a woman she could see the bit well that's what they would say I see the bitch that you did whatever with, right? And they don't think none of it ill, her. You know what I'm saying? But a man, it's like our egos are so, so strong, man, that it, like, we, we don't allow a kink in the armor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you be thinking about, man, I wonder if she was like this. Was she doing that? Like, you think about the sounds that your wife makes. And you know what I mean? Like, you think about a whole damn lot, so... Um, that's not something that I think I could, uh, let escape my mind, so to speak. It'd be, um, perfect example. Um, what, what's the movie? The Best Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Morris Chestnut and his wife after she told him like, yeah, this happened. But it, even with it being so long ago, all he sees is Tay Diggs and he doesn't even know how it happened. But this man don't create a whole damn scene of his wife's facial expressions, you know, mm -hmm. her body was glistening too. Like, ooh, she was getting it. You know, it, but that's how far a man's mind. Well, it, it didn't help that the nigga wrote the shit out of the book. He ain't had well, that. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's like the, that's how we think when you say your wife cheats. It literally goes there, whether that nigga wrote it out or not. Those are the thoughts that we would have. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So um, physically, I can't, but if you just conversations and I find out about it because you needed that connection, like, okay, you was wrong, but I'm not going to be as hurt. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what was written down, but physically I, I can't get past that. Like I, I just can't, I don't think I'm strong enough. So if I'm a weak man for that, I take that, but I'm strong in so many other aspects of a relationship. That's one thing that is a no go for me. Uh, uh, 
without listening to him, I kind of understood what he was I saying. Understood, though. I and know I'm not going to lie. I want to get to the point where that – I, I want to get to that point in my head that it's like, okay, whatever you do, long as we willing to be together, I want to mm-hmm. keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Everybody ain't perfect. That's what I aspire to be. But if that yeah. shit happened today, oh, hell fucking nah. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, I aspire to get to that level. Yeah, it takes time to work. I think yeah, every man, but, you know, or every, every relationship would love to fully understand that level of commitment that he's speaking upon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do no, there's nothing that you can do that could stop me from being here for you, being your man, loving you unconditionally. Like, I think that's dope. But right now, I got conditions. You know what I'm talking about? That fine print down at the bottom, you can read it on anything, even on instru- yeah. terms and conditions. Yes, I got terms and conditions still. So, you know, that's that's just me. And it's not to say that I don't love my wife deeply. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's some things that I stand for, some things that I wouldn't. You know what I mean? So, that's that. I'm with you, man. I just I was thinking that man. I wrote that shit down. I was like, let me see what y'all think yeah. about that. Because I when I, I that's the second time he said that shit, and I was like, that shit hit. And I was like, I hope one day I can get to that. My wife shows me she's trustworthy and all that, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, I think that because I don't trust I don't trust easily. You know what I'm talking about? Especially like uh, women that's not my family. I don't trust you. So mm-hmm. that's why it's like okay. My wife, she's definitely trustworthy. Mm. And I don't see myself being with nobody else. Like, if me and her didn't work, I don't even see me being with nobody else. Just to be real with you. I don't – I'm not even in that mode. To, I told y'all a couple of episodes ago, I probably go get one of them dolls. Like, you have it in the closet. I don't even see myself going out there and mess with nobody else. It just – I'm I'm not – it's not interesting to in me right now. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had the power to edit because I like right when you said that I'd have threw Charlemagne's ass right in your face. Yeah, that, that's why I edit. That's why I edit. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have been like with a finger, nah, Charlemagne's nah. booty. Nope, nope. That's, that's why I got the power to edit. Hell no, we ain't handed that power over. Fuck that. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in this episode, man. Make sure y'all um, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow us. Uh, make sure y'all um, but follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Hit us up on there. Yep. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Make sure yep. you click the little bell so you get all the incoming uh, yep. reminders when we post. Yep. What else we talk about after this? Is it? Uh, I don't need to. You know what? Power, I don't need to do because it's really? literally what I said it was going to be. We getting everybody's fucking version of what they did within them so many hours. We'll talk about it next week. We'll, we'll uh, exactly we'll, like we can just next week because this last episode wasn't about shit. Like I don't care about the sister like that anyway. So you was a waste of my motherfucking time. <laughs> no, nah, but you still wanted to see that thing though. But no, yeah, I, I definitely want to see it. I definitely want to see it. You know, what I'm saying? the act. You know what, man? I'm I'm so pissed off because literally this second half is the best writing that they've done in a season and a half. But you just forecasted what they were going to do, and you didn't want to see that. So I didn't, but, I mean, I kind of just had this inclination, like this little tingling that that was going to be what it's going to be. So, um, yeah, with Tommy disappearing, I will say this. I'm not going to get too deep, but with Tommy disappearing, I don't know if it's because of Paz or he's the actual one that did it. Nah, he ain't the one that did it. I, think I don't think might... Tommy's the one he that probably, killed him. He probably going to be the next. I don't think Tommy killed Ghost. Nah, he didn't. He did. And they did say it too. They they officially said murdered, killed, he's dead on the last episode. Uh, the episode one was smoke and mirrors. It was kind of like a little fluky, but this one they actually the reporter was doing it and said, Yeah, that man gone. But there's nothing I still don't think he's gone. Nothing that you can't fake your death and that even they don't know. I don't think he's gone. I still don't think he's dead. I still don't think he's dead. Mm-hmm. That's just me. No, nah, I feel that. I think he's making a king move. I think it's more or less like he's surviving. He said, like, look, don't let nobody know I'm alive until I'm healthy. And then, you know what I'm saying, let whoever who did it, let well, because he knows. You know what I'm saying? But we, we're going to see. We're going to see. But we'll get all into that the next one. Next time. Yeah. yeah. Back so. to you.
Until next time, man, we're going to holler at y'all, man. It's been the MVP. I'll be safe side. Yes, sir. He's out. Pray for me. Pray for what? Do everything I